So I'm sure by now everybody has pretty much heard uh, The Last of Us finally has a date um, before it was postponed indefinitely. Um, I assume that's based off of, you know, like, oh, they were waiting for the pandemic to be over. But after all of the leaks that happened this week, which is outrageous, and we'll get to talking about that in a minute. The reason why I'm like handling this with such serious demeanor, I would say, is because I have some very interesting opinions about The Last of Us, because based off of the stuff that I've seen people say, and not just like random people like scrolling through a Twitter comment section, like it it's just people I know, like people whose opinions I'm actually interested in listening to. Seems to be a little weird, but before we get into that, we're gonna talk about Ghost of Tsushima. Now, if any of you guys are familiar with uh, Sucker Punch Studios, they're the guys who have made uh, <laughs> some of my favorite games. Infamous. The first, second, and second son, um, Sly Cooper, come on, it, legendary studio at this point. I'm so excited to be buying anything from these guys, but there's a little bit of information about Ghost of Tsushima that I would like to know. I would actually like to see some gameplay. I understand people get really hyped, even on the Assassin's Creed video I did the other day. I even stated that, yes, this is all exciting, this is great, but none of it's gameplay. And I've always come with this precedent that cinematic CGI trailers are great. Cool. Great for hyping up something. Kind of paints the picture of a narrative. I want to see gameplay. I want to see if the game is going to be fun. I have yet to see any of that from Ghost of Tsushima. At least from the limited amount of research that I've done. Really, when I was going into this video, I just wanted to state, hey, the previous you know, release date got moved. Okay, great. It was June 26th, I believe. So now it's actually July 16th. I know it was competing with The Last of Us, which is why one got moved and the other one didn't. And then when the other one finally got a release date, it's like, okay, well now we have two Sony games coming out two different months. Great, I love it. I'm, I'm totally here for it. If you can tell, I'm excited. But uh, specifically with The Last of Us being moved to May 29th, that is like the end of the month. And I, I don't remember when Cyberpunk is coming out, but whenever that comes out, I have to worry about that too. But fortunately, I'm getting that on PC and I don't necessarily have to worry about it so much. Um, but let's keep talk about The Last of Us 2 a little bit. Now, um, I haven't paid attention to any of the leaks. I'm sure somebody's going to leak something in my comments section. Hopefully, uh, I have the flag set in place so that way I don't see it because I don't want anybody else being subjected to that as well. Um, there's been a lot of like people spoiling a bunch of the game, you know, a lot of the narrative pieces and stuff like that. And then earlier this year, we had um, a leak come out about some anti-Christian cult or some, something. It was like, had something to do with like, a cult and like homosexuality and like all this other stuff and i'm like okay this is really weird and it's like this cult that is like goes through the entire like you know lgbt camp or whatever and like starts killing people i i don't know it's has something to do with ellie and ellie's girlfriend at the time who i assume is in the game um you know what i i, I honestly i don't care like it's what's really bugging me out about this situation with the last of us is there's so many people that are just like oh they're trying to put some sjw spin on everything and oh lgbtq matter blah 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 and trying to push an agenda and it's like guys 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 shut the fuck up <laughs> like you you the amount of people that sound ridiculously stupid based off of a video game and people having the opinions that they have and living the lifestyles that they have just because you don't agree with it like first of all number one if somebody's gay trans lgbtq whatever the fuck that's none of your fucking business <laughs> like really it's it has absolutely nothing to do with you why does that bother you so much that it's in a fucking fictional video game that i i don't think it was like, at the end of the day, when this story was being written, they were like, oh yeah, we're really gonna represent the gays on this one. Like, no, like, that's not, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> no, it was telling a story, and like, it's almost like you guys didn't pay attention to the first game. Like, anybody who was playing the first game, who was going into this game, like, El Ellie's not like this and blah, blah, blah. Bro, bro, please, please, within the first 10 minutes of the, of the first game, and I've expressed this many, many times, if you're not somebody who's open-minded, you're not going to enjoy a lot of The Last of Us. You're not going to enjoy a lot of any games that have any type of thing that they want to teach you about being in some, somebody else's perspective. It's it's so 
fucking weird to me this this concept of like people wanting to get bent out of shit oh this doesn't represent me so i'm i'm upset and it's like no you just don't buy it just don't buy it like because you sound really stupid it's the story of ellie growing up in a post-apocalyptic land where she has no idea what it's like to live in our society what we live in like now she was born in this era of like everything's trying to kill you it, it, they, per, they clearly express that in the first game with uh, her her interactions with Joel, Tess, or even Riley if you played the Left Behind DLC. And she explores the fact that she's growing up differently. And there were people bent out of shape about a, a little girl expressing her interest in her friend by kissing her. It was like, people were bent out of shape about this. I was like... This is a normal thing. Like, this is just people expressing themselves in, in, in different type of manner. And this is just how she's growing up. These things are normal. If you have an issue with that, maybe you should stick a key and just not buy the game, bro. Like, honestly, like, if you really think your almighty opinion of, oh, you know what? I just don't want it in my video games and stuff like that. They're pushing an agenda and blah, blah, bro. Every, every game is trying to push some type of lesson. How about... You take your shallow little brain and just just take it out of your body for a second. Just just take it out and pretend that's not you, and put it in the shoes of somebody who's different than you. Yeah, it's a oh my god. Uh, why would I do that, right? Yeah, no. The amount of people that have an issue with like this LGBTQ ag agenda being part of the game, bro. It's Naughty Dog. Honestly, I don't care. They probably are gonna tell a really great story in every single naughty dog game there's been like always something to teach you a lesson about something a way that you'll enjoy this but package it in a way like oh maybe you should think about life this way maybe you should think about these type of people this way and it's like that's just the way naughty dog does things if there's a little bit too much gay content in this for you i'm sorry but maybe this is not the game for you fam like it's just really not like one of my buddies I was talking to, he said a friend of his was smashing shit around his room because they spit in the face of fans. Bro, I don't understand. What could a post-apocalyptic infection story have to, like, what would they have to do to spit in the face of fans? I don't understand. Do they kill the main character at the beginning of the game? Is that it? Because that's the only thing. I only care about Ellie. I care about Joel. I care about the people that they involve themselves with. I don't think there's anything that this game could possibly do story-wise or even like written-wise. Unless they kill Joel in the first 10 minutes, which is still a theory going around. It's like, okay, so you're upset about something play the rest of the fucking game and find out what happens like especially when you get these leaks out of context it's like it's kind of hard to establish oh well this is the narrative that i'm going to paint for this you just sound fucking stupid okay it's just it's the most asinine thing i've ever heard in my life honestly it really is now this is all coming from a person who hasn't seen any of the leaks i haven't paid attention to any of it and i'm definitely going to keep dodging it until the end of may when this game comes out but it's like give it a fucking chance if you don't if you really 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 feel some type of way just don't buy it just don't buy it if you're somebody who had paid attention to the leaks and you're upset by the agenda that's trying to go on just don't buy it bro just don't just don't fucking buy it these these people who are actually getting upset that there is a gay agenda bro i don't even i can't even comprehend i but, but then again i grew up in la so, you know, we just different out here. I could understand if you're somebody from the Midwest and your parents taught you a man should not never be with a man and a woman should never be with a woman. Okay, I get it. <laughs> I'm totally bashing you for it and I'm disrespecting you for it 100% because you're fucking weird. But I mean, you know, if you let other people's decisions kind of uh, affect your life, it's just like, really, what does that say about you? Honestly, but you know, maybe that's a little bit too much controversy for, uh, you know, some people who are offended by a video game. Uh, you know, maybe, maybe, maybe I've said too much. Oh, anyway, uh, anybody having a problem with the game, I, I just really, really needed to address that. Like, anybody who's upset about the story of the game, bro, just wait till the game comes out, please. You people that are upset about The Last of Us and all of the details that you're getting secondhand leaked, that are completely out of context you still need the rest of the game like come on now come on come on you sound ridiculous we could take any clip out of the first last of us game where it's a character on character interaction 
and you could look at that without the context of the three or four or ten hours before that that happened and you'd be like oh, i don't agree with this or i don't like this triggered by something that's that's it that's that's all this game is trying to do is just just give you a compelling story so if you're not willing to participate in that and if you're not willing to have an open mind about it it's not the game for you it's just really not and i honestly i don't think the guys at naughty dog care i don't think neil Druckmann cares honestly this is the story that he he and his team are trying to tell and honestly i applaud him so do what you got to do i'm gonna buy three copies of the game so <laughs> it is what it is but um let me know you guys' thoughts and opinions down in the comment section below if i see something i don't like best believe i won't read it and i will delete it <laughs> so <laughs> but uh yeah let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below like today's video if you enjoyed it subscribe to the channel if you are new also guys once one more time <laughs> memberships are available that would greatly help support my channel you guys can scroll down click that it's a small little bit of subscription thing you get some extra behind the scenes content i put out a podcast the other day so uh, a lot of people were really excited about that uh, i announced those ahead of times and i also give you special emotes so that'll be something that you can enjoy whenever i'm live streaming which is on monday wednesday and friday but until next time i'll see you guys later this has been your man jay make sure to keep it canon